guys, welcome to the club. As I do, welcome to another episode of the Elephant Club School of Oblivion. In the last episode, we completed a couple more Shivering Isle side quests. We finished the Falling Awake quest. Uh, all we had to do was talk to the Able Fabrienne. Uh, and he had some trouble sleeping inside, so we had to find some place to sleep outside. We found someone who We'd already found someone who slept outside. He was gone and asked him if he wanted to trade places with him. And he agreed. So, all we have to do is pass on the good news in the primary end and do the quest pretty easy. A uh, slightly more challenging quest number two was the quest for Cunning Storm. We had to find three items on the other to help her survive a pending apocalypse. Her uh, parents were kind of paranoid and worried about the apocalypse. So, uh, what I'm trying to first do is use the internet and help her find some heat. Um, so, one item was a ring of desiccation, which had a simultaneous effect of water walking, being able to walk in the water, and water breathing, like the breathe underwater, two contradictory effects. Uh, we had to steal it from the Museum of Odysseys, so there was no way to ask um, her for it. So we did that. Um, we managed to find us on the street pole, which we exchanged for Finian's calming packs. We were able to keep calm while everyone else was panicked during the apocalypse. They were kind of panicked and not feeling that the apocalypse would even happen, which we didn't look at it, but probably for another day. And finally, we had to go to the Milkar cave to get ourselves the amulet of disintegration. It was a great store of your armor and weapons. Wear it. The information given to that was that the Java said, If I have died, nobody's taking my stuff. So, <laughs> fair enough, I suppose. Bit of a petty way to go out, but that's, that's Shiv Renal's character school, and all of this strange art thing. Speaking of which, we'll be doing the final resting quest today. Um, so, here is the summer song to meet him off the dark and pursue a great war piece of respect for Shade Warren. First, uh, let's do that. We've got our doggy here. I don't know if he'll follow us all the way through the door. We'll see. Yeah, he doesn't follow me through the door. Where did I get to my buddy? Uh, Alright, let's head over to uh, Bruce See if we can chat to him to the summons. Rainy Boom! Rainy Boom! This mezkin must return to duty. Gal burst in it. Uh, was the Tell, the dame. Dame. Tell the dame! Tell the dame! Your humble servant, my lord. Oh, I think I know. I'm not, they asked the other episode why I was able to sleep that night and just keep shivering. Now I've just realized that I'm carrying Big Head's charm. And he said that Big Head was previously the only person who understood him. So maybe this charm allows me to understand it. Alright. Currently in city police is tap. He said to meet him after dark. Where was it? See a great more piece of section here, Gore. Hey Brightful. Hi. Big back over here, memory serves. And you should hear more piece of section here. Alright, so let's wait until night time. It's about four hours, maybe? Maybe longer, we'll see. Oh. Oh, 
eyes, I don't say that she's family. Focus my thoughts to you, Samantha. There's a, a simple task. Yes, a simple task that you must perform. This life, it's, well, it's too painful. Everywhere I look, I see death, dying and decay. When I dream, I see a world without sunshine. I'm constantly on the verge of retching up or falling asleep or... Screaming at someone who doesn't deserve it. I'm just so fed up with it all. Uh, okay, well, what can I do to help? Sorry, you're having a bad day. Two walk buses be. I need mean, to kill yourself. Ah, that's not uh, Sorry, you're having a bad day. A bad day? A bad day? Try a miserable existence. There's no point in talking about it. Action must be taken. You must. I need you to kill me. Oh. Okay, well, you know what you said about... Uh, I mean, I don't want to say this, but I have to say this. I don't need this to kill you. Have you seen those miserable souls on the hill of suicides? Yes. Do you I'm think that so kind of existence is any better than this? No. You must kill me. Uh, how do you want to die? I don't necessarily want to see it coming. And I want to die here in the city so all these people finally believe me. I wish they were nicer. You probably want to do it without spectators, though, so you don't get in trouble. Best to make it look like an accident. But remember, I don't want to see it coming. Take me unaware. Should look accident. Well, that's up to you, I suppose. I'm gonna go about my daily life such as it is, as if nothing has changed. Make your move when you wish, but. Uh, please do it soon. And about this pool? Oh, that. When you kill me, take the key to my house. Nothing really worth taking, except what's locked up in the jewelry box. You can have that. Okay. I'm going to pretend everything is normal. Make your move as soon as you can, but let me get away first so I don't know it's coming. No, not like this. Yeah, you can, you can go now. I kind of feel it's bad, like, accepting a reward for ending someone's life is miserable. I don't want to live anymore. And yeah, I want to share it with anyone who has that kind of thought. Uh, always away, man. Always something can happen to make life better. Always do what you do. Always feel like clothes. Always yeah. Fortunately, in this quest, there is no other answer, and we have to kill the puppet, and we have to make it look like an action. Now, this is about journal update. 
Alright, here's the problem with this awesome I killed. So this actually includes any of the other details. Without making it look expensive. I'm gonna find an opportunity to learn. Uh, I think we could just flash him right now. But, uh, there's another way to go about it. I wonder if we should be able to do it right now. Uh, he goes where I think he's going. And we might just be able to crack off this quest very quickly. And there he is. Sometimes I come up here to think. Everything looks so small from up here. Makes me feel better, you know? Like I'm not so small myself. I hear you, buddy. But that feeling only lasts a little while. And I start thinking about how miserable everything is. And then all I want to do is step off the ledge. Well, I can't just jump. Don't want to end up on the hill. But I hope that someday, maybe, a big gust of wind will come and push me off. So I can end it all. Well, will be, will be, gust of wind. Save your lucky day. <laughs> what? Peace at last. You honor me, Lord. There's Thomas is dead. Wanted. I can now get my reward from this house. He should be on this place. Someone really ought to put up a railing. That happens all the time. <laughs> and I was waiting for that dialogue. And not very super pathetic. And I didn't exactly make it look like an accident, did I? I literally just pushed him off the edge. God didn't seem to mind, then again, I am pushing it for Oh yeah, there's a bunch of armor foam installed here, so this clearly happens quite often. Uh, I'm sorry, Edgar, but I think a good door so we can have here some comes to help you, so see my reward for the children. I wonder if you get mad at me if I answer here. I'm just gonna save it just in case. Uh, I bet I can load it and just tell her to wait. These have to be here, okay? So, okay, there's some pools of some blood here. I don't think that doesn't mean what I think it means. I was going to use a black sword to pay you. Tell me if you want to use it. Um, I'm going to choose the book. Here's a few rebots and just move them out. Another bunch of pieces of paper. Really trying to write some stuff, I guess. You can't take that much. Bridging. Write some stuff. Carry it up. Happy with it. Get it needed. Uh, let's have a look inside this uh, jewelry box. Ring of happiness. Never 25 points. Light spikes. Intel. Woods. And for the time, that's how we do it. But I don't know, it's pretty good rate. Fed was really good, Ford Wolf was really good. Um, I like to see Bowel. 
We'll go to the light. I do not know the best. Pay my reward. He also got Harris to come to his will. We need his blood. Let's wrap things up. Alright, Harris to come to his will. I'll be going to die for quite some time. Things are just not going right. Never have gone right, really. No one seems to care either. Or even notice I exist. Now that I have nothing to say, even if someone had one to be my friend, I think I'm not a friend anyway. I'm probably even boring your friends to leave this. I'm certainly boring myself. Not that anyone will ever find this note. Oh, but if they do, if they do, it means that I've been granted my greatest wish being released from this little coil. This isn't a suicide note. No, that would mean I think of my own life. And we all know what that means. Who wants that kind of business? You'd be born in the hill every day. He said as if nothing ever happened. That's even worse than the life I'm living. Life I've lived? Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure I'm happy now. But that means the thing of writing this world isn't happy at all. Never have been happy, really. Anyway, the purpose of this note is to say to the man who was always killed me, Thank you. All I really had is this queer little brain. I always gave it to me once. Said I reminded him of his dead son. I guess I resemble his dead son even more now. Anyway, he said it would make me happy. But he played it as well as I thought there was some some such thing. Come to think of it, it's the only time anyone has ever given me anything. Personally, I think the thing is worthless. Just like me. I tried for a while. Happiness rate. But eventually I couldn't wear it anymore. It made me feel odd. Love myself. I didn't like you that way, so I loved it away. It's pretty enough though. In my pressure to go close to person. Sorry not to leave much more behind. My life never really enough to not him to did it. You were very truly here until Thomas deceased. Kinda of sad, man. Um yeah, so I guess the ring of happiness was making him happy, but he didn't feel like himself. So he didn't want to wear it anymore. And it wasn't enough for food to make him dead. Get rid of the demons. Well, we'll go on to carry. Oh, we're going to carry the ring of happiness around with us. Yeah, probably don't need it. Uh, well, we'll keep it in our home and remember Harris and Thomas, the guy he was. And hopefully, wherever he is now, he is happy. And don't have a hill of suicide. So. Uh, that's that question, please. Uh, as we've seen in the Hill of Suicide, the consequence of taking your life is 
that you become a ghost and you live forever as kind of like punishment. Um, pretty sad, pretty evil with the previous game we left the other. But uh, I guess that's the game where I'm smiling. Uh, so we have to kill it, so we just wait to have the ship and some of the high place and uh, help him off to his death. Surprisingly, he was surprised at that, he was like, he was two minutes before, and I'm killing him. And, uh, there we go. That's the quest. And we picked up a ring of happiness and a reward. Uh, it was very ironic. It was an intro quest. But, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Jerry. Let us be able to have you and my own and your own. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, in the next episode, we will be doing the Elite One Secret. Uh, so Sigi releases only the cure for her mysterious malady, the sample of water for fully robust and not confirmed, so she can be passed along. Not for the reason why that, but it's been there and not for the reason why that. And that will do next time. For that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. And I hope you have a great day. Take care, and see you later.